what's going on guys i'm johnny with blades of grass lawn care and welcome to my 2023 enclosed trailer setup enjoy all right guys we're going to begin with the vehicle itself it is a 2019 ram 1500 classic it has an emmy 5.7 liter and a brand spanking new wrangler goodyear tires and the vehicle is under 30,000 miles and by the way the vehicle and everything that you see in this video is paid for next you'll find a 16 by 7 enclosed trailer double axle v-nose and it was fabricated in 2021 all right so let's go on the inside and see what we have all right so while i'm getting this trailer open so you guys can see the inside the trailer and the vehicle have a gps system so guys ensure that you have a gps system on your trailer because theft is real all right so let me pull this more out so we can begin our tour All right guys, it's kind of windy out here, but um, I will go through the pieces real quick. I'm not gonna get it too much into detail, so, so you can get an overload. All right, so my big mower is a Toro Z Master 4000, and it has the green guard shoot blocker, which is this pedal right here. You open it and you close it. And uh, yeah, it ensures that everything goes well. The mower has been extremely, extremely perfect for me. I've had it for the past two and a half years and it is doing great. Next mower that I carry with me for the small gates is a Toro Grandstand 36 inch. And again, I have the green guard shoe blocker on it to ensure that I don't throw any debris in my customer's property and again this is a mini tank um, it has a Kawasaki FS 541V engine and the Toro Z Master 4000 have a Kawasaki FX 751V okay and next is the Toro 60 volt battery powered commercial 21 inch and this one I use here and there um, for those one or two properties that I actually push more when I want to. And this is a tank, hardcore, uh, awesome, awesome more. All right, so we're gonna start from left and go all the way around. I carry uh, two cones and I also carry for additional visibility this is a angel guard and uh, I put these on top of the cone so you know people can see me from far out. So again, everything that you see guys is gonna be on uh, in the video description to this video, okay? And I keep it right up there. It's magnetized so you can put it anywhere on your mower. Next thing is I carry a Husqvarna right there, 580. BTS blower and this is the uh, Mark II and this baby has been extremely extremely good to me so it works awesome now a battery charger is the new Toro battery charging rack and guys let me tell you this you plug in and you put all your Toro batteries and it'll charge in sequence or it'll charge them all slowly but uh, it's, it's designed for overnight charging. This thing is super, super great. Um, 
and then I'll have my other chargers in the bottom. And these, I had them before I actually got this one. Um, these I really don't need, but I, I kind of use them just to kind of hold the battery in, but it's not actually plugged in. And the way I charge my battery, guys, is I will go straight into here, and it goes on the side to a hole, and, and it comes out here, and all you do is plug an extension overnight. And that's the way I charge my batteries. I also have a power pack that I put in here anytime I'm out there, but um, I'll show you that in another video. Let me take these off. I'll show you that in another video, guys, because um, it hasn't uh, actually, uh, it's not for sale yet, but I will show you a quick glimpse and then um, eventually will be for sale, okay? Uh, I carry a an additional extension, trimmer extension for the Toro Flex Force, which I use to as my blade edger, the attachment, the straight shaft attachment, as my blade edger. So I carry an additional one, you know, just for GP. And this bar is called a Darwin Grip, and it'll enable you to stand straight and edge or mow. And it works pretty good. Uh, it minimizes the fatigue and the strain on your lower back. Now, what everyone should have is a trailer aid. And basically what you do is you put it on in front or behind whatever tire is actually flat and you back your trailer up or you move your trailer forward and it'll automatically lift the flat tire. And you can utilize your spare, as you can tell, I have a spare and your spare will, uh, it makes it easier where you don't have to jack your trailer up to uh, change your tire. You always have to have a spare tire, guys. And this is my bagger for my 21 inch mower, but again, I've, I seldom use this except for the winter time when I'm bagging leaves. And then I'll have the mulching kit and the side discharge for the Toro 21 inch mower. I also have, you know, several little tools, guys, so when I actually uh, do some flower beds or some floral installations and stuff like that. I have the Rhino towing strap. And guys, you have to have a towing strap because it doesn't matter what type of properties you do, whatever you do, uh, you always have to have a way to tow your mower out in case something happens. I carry a set of uh, hardcore leather gloves so when I'm pruning uh, roses, for things that have, you know, thorns and stuff like that. So, yeah. Uh, what else do I have? Additional string, knee pads. Uh, this is a string that I've been using for a while now. It is the uh, Ballard uh, Phantom line. Um, very, very good line, guys. Um, more to follow on that. Uh, I have my pruners and uh, my hand pruners and the loppers here that I use. Uh, I have a Storm four gallon battery powered sprayer and I have a two gallon uh, sprayer as well. And let me show who this one is by. This one is by Sprayer Plus. And you may ask why do I have two? This is for uh, non-selective herbicides, and the other one is for selective herbicides. I have my air protection and my Hornet wasp spray. You gotta have these if you're doing shrubs in my area. <laughs> Your Hesh trimmer cleaner slash lubricant, W40. Your fluid film and your mix for your two and a half gallon mixed fuel for your blower. This is the Toro Revolution 60 volt edge trimmer, which I use all the time. Awesome, awesome piece of equipment. I love it. This is my twisted line from Vortex that I used to use, but now I'm using the Battle Phantom for the past month. And I believe it or not, guys, I make money from both anyway through my code, but I like the Phantom 
better than the Vortex. It lasts a little bit longer. So there it is. I have my magnetic board where I keep, you know, little tools here and there, a scraper. And this is where I carry my blades. And I have my blower. It has 605 uh, CFMs by Toro. And this right here is the thetter that goes into the backpack blower right here. You put it right here and you can utilize it on the Toro New Revolution trimmer. And guys, again, not because <laughs> Toro sent me this, because again, Pascovana sent me theirs too, but this one has way more torque than the Husqvarna to me, so I like it. This one mimics more a, uh, a gas powered when it comes to the torque and, and the power than the Husqvarna that I've, I've been using, so uh, I like this. And, and again, guys, again, I modify things to my liking. Um, it has a safety clip right here that you put your hands on and then you start your trimmer. I put a piece of tape. Um, I do not recommend you guys doing it. I, I just did it because that's what I do. And I also took the guard off. So again, I do not recommend. So again, there you go. Um, but yeah, I love, love, love this thing. And hopefully Toro will send me another one. <laughs> and I already showed you the four flex, force flex uh, head with the straight shaft attachment. And I've been using also the Toro Revolution backpack with the blower nozzle attachment. And this thing is, it is working out pretty good guys. I will tell you this, to me it compares to a still BR 450 or 600, okay? And this is where you keep the battery oops, in here and I have two batteries and if it's a little bit too heavy then uh, I would recommend just use one battery it'll still do the job and this is where I carry my gloves and don't forget your fire extinguisher and this is it guys this is what I take with me in my enclosed trailer setup and again things change with the type of job that you're doing and I believe in only taking what you need and what you honestly think that you will be able to use. All right guys, if you have any questions in regards to anything in this video, please take the time and put it in the comments. And uh, yeah, have a blessed one. See you on the next one. Pop smoke, peace.